Alles Wichtige ist Graf Mentüse. Alles VTS, that's all receiving when traffic, the uh, Red Eagle by a concert turn. Yes, you are clear to sail. Ahoy, shipmates! It's a slightly different one again today, but a lunchtime departure of Britannia. Oh, I can just see Red Kestrel there on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Uh, Britannia is on the left hand. Carry off spray the uh, white force, so I'll hold back here, sir. You carry on. Yeah, the uh, Britannia is on the left hand side of the screen. She's due to depart any moment now. I've heard on VTS radio that all systems are go. Weather forecast for today was to be quite mild, but I don't know, looking out there, I mean, look at this, we're gusting at th up to 31 knots. I mean, it's pretty windy out there. And because of that, if I'm not mistaken, there we go, let's have a quick zoom in on the map here. So here we have Britannia at the Ocean Terminal, and there's also a tug, this Fitz of Mercurius is there as well, and looks like this Fitz of Ferriby, so I'd imagine that Britannia will have tug assistance. Oh yeah, and there's Red Kestrel there. I think she's waiting probably to talk. White Force, Red Osprey. Yeah, Red Osprey, White Force, yeah, you carry on, sir. Yeah, White Force, right yeah, thanks for slowing down, I appreciate that. Have a look over at Netley, uh, on Netley Cab, unfortunately, it's a bit windy over there, it's wobbling the camera around, it gives it a poor picture as well, I don't know why, I don't think the Wi-Fi likes the wind, uh, there's a few white horses there, Itchin Cam, Itchin Cam's a bit more stable, a bit more a uh, secure mount there, oh, there's a chap there with his, coming on his sailing boat, It'll definitely won't need many sails up today, it's very windy out there, and here we are back to Britannia, Hang on, I'll zoom in on the, uh, Let's have a see if we can get a bit closer. I can certainly see the clouds rushing in overhead. I mean, the forecast was for sort of 10 mile an hour winds, but I think they've misjudged that entirely. Oh, I can see some lines. Oh, hang on, you're on the wrong camera. My apologies. There we go. You can see some lines coming in there. See the chaps there. The shipmates. I think I'll zoom in too close because it's going to get a bit wobbly. There we go. You can see those lines coming in. She's off. She's off, she off uh, shortly. Off where, I hear you ask, and why is she off at this strange time of day? Well, she came in early yesterday and ended up going to the other end of the of the port, 106 berth, because uh, she'd missed a port in, I think it was in Portugal. I can't remember now. She, but anyway, she skipped a port, arrived early, so she all the passengers overnighted in Southampton, the wonderful port of Southampton, the glorious views of Ikea in the background. And then they moved over to here, where they unloaded all the passengers and now Britannia is going to head off to Rotterdam for oh, about three weeks I think or a refit having some work done so they'll at the moment, there are, bizarrely, there are 1,289 crew on board and 631 passengers. Although we're led to believe that the majority of these passengers 
are in fact contractors. Well, at least they'll have somewhere to stay on board. Don't know if they'll get to use many of the facilities on board while they while they're working. Ah, plenty of shipmates in the chat. Oh, there, Elizabeth G. Oh, there, Christine Nico. Oh, there, Dean Willis. Oh, that is a bit unusual for getting a lunchtime broadcast. So I thought we'd I thought we'd try this one out. Uh, the MSC Uribia departs this evening, eight o'clock. I'm not sure if it's going to be windy or not, but it'll probably be getting dark by then. I might see if I can do that one. We'll see how that goes. But I thought this lunchtime one would be good. I just wasn't expecting the wind. Come on, wind, die down. See, those lines are coming in now. I think we're all good for this one o'clock departure. I have to zoom out a bit. That's getting really windy out there. What is the wind then? What's the weather? I've lost the weather. Every distance, the weather. Yeah, 31 knots gusts. Yeah, it's uh, that's really windy. Quite pleasant though. 13 at sea. And no rain, which makes a change. I think we're fed up with rain in the UK at the moment. It seems to seems like we, all we've had lately is endless amounts of rain. Oh, it's, uh, it's gusted. It's quite gusty as well. That's what I've noticed when I was out earlier. You'll have a, a couple moments of calm and then some really big gusts come in. Those clouds are racing across the screen there. Oh, hi there, Rab Nesbitt. And oh, hi there, uh, Andrew Bonnyman. He's suggesting that there's 154 watchers and you could do with hitting that like button. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, hit the like buttons if you can, shipmates. Also, uh, if you don't mind subscribing, if you haven't subscribed, that'd be helpful. Uh, shipmates procure procure bots will have to look out for themselves on Monday the 15th of April they'll be on Arcadia oh yes yes you should indeed if you wave something from the balcony it makes it easier to distinguish and we've got one of the red funnels scooting by there oh, a quick look what's going on out here well, the wife force tugs heading down Red oil spray is clear. Oh, it looks like we're still good for a departure. MSC Ubria, Ubria, Ubria. Ubria. Red Eagle, uh, she's up further up the port, and we've still got the tanker in the Gulf Loyalty, which some have suggested has been moved there because the MCA is not happy oh, with the safety. Thank you. Just a couple of lines left now. It looks like the tugs are. Let's have a look. Yeah, the tugs. Yeah, the tugs are just right on the side here. The wind is pretty much bow on, I think. I'm surprised the tugs are on the side. They maybe will still be hooked up. Can't see them, fortunately. It's on the other side. One line left now. That looks like that small line is being dropped. I think any moment now the other line will be dropped as well. And then she'll be off out. It'll be interesting to see if the tugs actually. Thank you. Yep, yeah, so if, if you heard that, the uh, Britannia just raided in to say that she's singled up and was ready to push off. Normally, if the weather conditions are good, you don't so they don't worry about it too much. But because it's quite windy today, I think they want to they want to when they've singled up, move on quite quickly. Don't want to be hanging around too long. Hi there, Matt Carter. Wishing everyone well. Oh, we've got a good number in the chat today for a Friday lunchtime broadcast. Looks like the other line is being released as well. So there we go. As Britannia is facing forwards, she could probably drive herself forward. Um, and the wind will be... I imagine the, which, which, which direction is the wind, because we can check the wind direction. That is something we can do. 
Uh, oh, it's coming from directly from the west. So if you look at the map, that means the wind is coming pretty much this way. So that's why the tugs are here to stop Britannia drifting too far across. But she should uh, she should be able to drive herself out. The tugs and assisting. With the shipmates, Les Donaldson says that looks a bit breezy. Yes, it is very breezy today, shipmates. It's breezy and gusty. So it's not steady. It's just a uh, every now and again there's a good old gust comes in. Uh, excellent spell of common says it's been breezy for a while it has yes it's been breezy all this it really does feel like april shall we whether we've got that so every day seems to rain it seems to be quite windy and not desperately warm so it's not uh, the maples we get wonderful weather where you can be outside or get your motorcycle out as i've been trying to do but uh, no no chance of getting my motorcycle out i think it's going to be in the garage for a few more weeks yet keeping it dry and myself dry, of course. Uh, February was the wettest February on record. I hadn't read anything about March, but I'm pretty sure that March was very wet as well. I read somewhere that it was 187% wetter than usual, but it didn't say anything about it being a record. And that's the last line gone now. So you can see she, Tanya's just drifting ever so slightly away. I suspect I don't quite know how how it works with larger ships, but if you are in a small pleasure craft vessel, you would probably allow the wind just to blow you off the dock and then start motoring forward. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, cruise ships adopt the same strategy or if they're a little bit more controlled. When you when you dock your boats, these el the elements are the one of the biggest things to concern you you have to balance the forces of the elements against the forces of your engines against your skill and ability not to hit anything or squash something oh with a shipmate dear mandy says you would be watching the cricket live stream but it's been very wet in durham so hampshire have got a day off yes i hear that the uh, cricket season county cricket season started just in time for the all the horrible weather. I'm going to be quite a few delayed matches, I feel. Uh, it's the Southampton Half Marathon on Sunday. So if you are coming into the port of Southampton on Sunday, be aware that from about 8am to 1pm in the afternoon, lots of streets will be closed, causing traffic chaos. I don't we think we have too many cruise ships here on Sunday, so it's not too bad. Oh, there we go, we can see Britannia slowly drifting back now. We have a little drift back, tugs and tendons, and then start to head forward. Off to Rotterdam for a refit. I did notice that uh, that's looking a little tiny bit rusty on the sides. Not sure the last time that the, the hull was painted, but it certainly does look a bit rusty. Three weeks for a refit, approximately. I'm not sure what they will do in three weeks. I guess they can prepare lots of it, don't they? Because they know what the ship's like. They can prepare all in advance, and contractors turn up with boxes of gear to install and paint to splash around. Probably new carpets, all those sorts of things. I'm guessing the carpets will have a lot of wear and tear on them over the years. Ah, oh, shipmate Carol. Orcock says uh, off on Arvia 28th. I was on Britannia last year. Lovely ship. Hopefully Arvia's good. Never been on a big one before. Well, I think you'd enjoy the big one, shipmate. Certainly when I travelled on Iona, I was surprised how empty it felt. There just didn't seem to be that many people on the ship. You just don't see the people. Oh, hi there, shipmate. Furry animals just described. Many thanks for subscribing, shipmate. Rab there's bit says did I put on loads of weight when I went on the cruise? I'm not sure I put on loads of weight, but I certainly didn't lose any. <laughs> uh no, we did quite a lot of walking actually during the week. Every time we were in ports we had a good old walk around whichever port we were in, Rotterdam or Hamburg. 
Hamburg wasn't very good, Delmas, so it was on the MSC Eurebia. And I don't think that Hamburg was a good idea to call in on a Sunday because a whole of Germany seems to be closed on a Sunday. I would have thought probably going somewhere else would have be been better on a Sunday, but there we go. That's, uh, that's what MSC did. Yes. There we go. See RCTS, good afternoon. We're just leaving March of Wharf. We're bound for the city of London, London on Burnley Wharf. We have three POB deepest drivers, one decimal three. CRCTS Alt received the Britannia from 46 is um, underway. Yeah, C Green understood. We'll keep out of the way. Is it C Horse or C Green? which one is on the seahorse and sea green now you can see the crew there on the wing bridge i'm seeing good afternoon sir and uh, britannia underway from uh, 46. keeping an eye on where they are positioned from the dock but you can see how the the p o flag on the bow there very stiff straight and erect isn't it and the wind is quite fierce where's the wind on the wind we get wind. Yeah, yeah, we're still well over the 20 knots, gusting, gusting to 35 knots lately. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, does make docking tricky, I have to say. As far as I can see, we still have the tugs Switzer Mercurius and Switzer Ferriby in close proximity. Uh, on the the port side, we can't see them unfortunately. They're on the port side, just there, giving a gentle nudges because the wind is more or less coming directly from the west to the starboard side of Britannia I'll be pushing away from the dock handy I would say in nautical terms if you want to leave the dock but it's uh, really difficult if you want to try and arrive at a dock with a head with a strong wind like that Oh, with a shipmate Terry Silver. Dropping a uh, one pound sticker or something, I think. I'm not quite sure how that all works. <laughs> I think it might come up on the screen. Well, since I've done this. It's got itching cam. There we go. We can see Britannia looming over the multi story car parks of all those exports. What can we see on Netly Cam? Oh, I can't see much on Netly Cam apart from wobbling. There's not quite as not many waves as I thought. There we go, she's making progress now though. Oh hi there shipmate uh Cynthia Willowan. I is going on Iona tomorrow. Yes, Alice, uh, okay, main channel to the east, and we'll be proceeding to see uh, next port, Rotterdam, and Knox going by the anchorage. Alice, DTS, uh, proceeding to see now, Rotterdam, receive. Uh, next plan, boarding at the NAB, AS Polina. Uh, container car at uh, 13.45, Bravo. Uh, we'll be followed by the Nabucco. Uh, vehicle care, 1400 at uh, Bravo. Uh, third one will be the uh, tanker, both days, 1430 at uh, Charlie. Well, I understand, thank I've just noticed the Harbour House clock is correct, I think. Yeah, that's almost bang on time. Unless it's just stopped and I just happened to look at it at the right time. I haven't noticed before. It's not normally working. I think it might be... I'll have to keep an eye on that. <laughs> I'm curious now if it's actually working or if it's just we just happen to look at it at the right time. Yeah, many thanks, Terry Sewell, for your super chat. Very good. It looks like a bit of sun coming out now, doesn't it? A bit of sun on the water. It's the Hythe Ferry there. You can still see the clouds are whistling overhead. Yeah, 
Tanya will head on out a little bit further and start. Oh, it looks like we might get a chance to see the tugs. I think the Spitzer of Mercurius is heading a little further forwards. There's Mercurius there. Around the front, around the pointy end. Yeah, it's one thing, actually, it's one thing the weather doesn't tell us. The weather doesn't tell us how, how sunny it is, does it? Um, no, we've got visibility. Visibility's not bad. 11 nautical miles, air pressure, temperature, humidity, precipitation, wind, wind gust, but we don't get a UV level. Not really an issue in this country, is it? Uh, Cotton on BTS. Oh, hi there, shipmate. Matt Carter says, uh, Selden Spitzer. Uh, Cotton Town VTS received no 40 traffic, sir. And, uh, safe uh, crossing. Said Seldon Celebrity Cruises first time. Celebrity Silhouette. Looking forward to the new celebrity ship sailing from Southampton this year. Oh, yes, a couple of new ships. We've got Queen Anne coming later at the end of this month. Roger, 7 VTS, outbound traffic. Tanker Alice approaching the uh, reach. Main channel. And from Southampton, the Britannia is uh, leaving the ocean, though. Now we're trying to work out what to do uh, to cover the arrival of Queen Anne at the end of the month. Yeah, ABP are encouraging a flotilla of small craft to accompany her up Southampton Water. Captain Marty's keen to get on board with that. So I might try and try and do that, do a live stream from the boat. I've done it a few times now, so it's possible. I might need somebody to operate the computer from back here. I'll have to, I'll have to experiment with that. But after that, there are a few more. There are a few more uh, new ships arriving. Oh, I just saw a question there. Was it oh, from shipmate uh, Game with Jake's? Says, Why is a third lifeboat missing? Uh, yes, yeah, someone mentioned that part of the refit is uh, getting a new lifeboat. I, is that the one that was lost when she had a bit of an accident somewhere and she crashed into another ship? Southampton VTS, Southampton VTS, Lomax. Lomax VTS, good afternoon. PTX Lomax, uh, good afternoon again. Uh, if you don't mind, um, I'd like to, uh, we're alongside at berth number 45. I'd like to just uh, move aft um, to come alongside Apex to load some spares. Lomax PTS, you're clear, sir. Thank you. Lomax PTS, question for how long? Uh, approximately uh, one zero minutes, and then uh, we'd like to proceed back to Forley. Yes, clear to proceed. Thank you. Red Eagle VTS. Yes, I think someone's just said that I think she lost, got damaged during the storm. Red Eagle VTS. We did see the... Sh uh, VTS, Red Eagle. Yes, sir, good afternoon. Britannia leaving Ocean Dock outbound and Seahorse uh, exiting Marshall Channel for um, Itchen. Britannia and Seahorse, all copied, sir. BTS, Rockcast Rule. Surely away, Rule Pier, down to Cows, copy Britannia and the Seahorse. Cash or VTS, yes, please, sir. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, see, almost clear of the dock now. BTS will dock. Still no signs of those tugs, though. They must be hiding. Around the other side. Oh yes, I see Spitzer. Well, dark VTS. Spitzer, so sir. Good afternoon. Just away from 21 uh, down to SF. The rubbish run. Two PAB. Uh, copy of the Britannia and the Seahorse. Receive Red Eagle approaching the Hound uh, inbound main town. North Forty traffic north and east of the Greens. So it's going to Yep, both tugs are on the port side, so we can't really see them. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, so Britannia off to Rotterdam. She has uh, 1,289 crew on board, 631 passengers, or I think actually they're not really passengers, they're more like contractors. You've got your yeah, Sparkies, your Chippies, your Carpenters, and 
electricians and AV people. I imagine all sorts of people in there. And she'll be in Rotterdam for approximately three weeks. Or a refit. So if you've got something booked up on Britannia later in the year, she should be all shiny. Won't see too many people out in the balconies because unfortunately they're contractors on board, so I don't suspect they're really in the holiday spirit. They'll get a day off work until they arrive in Rotterdam, then I suspect it's quite hard labour. Oh, shipmate Ian Shuttleworth is packing in the cruises this year. He's on Queen Mary 2 to New York, the classic trip. Oh, there we go, we can see the tugs now. There we go, there's Spitz of Ferry, beyond imagine. There we go, that's... She's assisted enough, so she's now withdrawing away. Oh, that looks like Mercurius as well. Yeah, there we go. It's not often we see a lunchtime departure with tugs as well. All the pleasures today. She's pretty much completing her turn now, starting to head down to the dock head, then down Southampton Water. Now, the wind's definitely affecting her, she's definitely keeping her to one side. Looks like the tugs might uh, keep assistance until she's past the dock head. Don't want a repeat of, of uh, accidents with big ships crashing into things, do we? I'm surprised with the container ship in Baltimore, how quickly the tugs released her and off she went. Well, considering that bridge wasn't far away, I would have thought the tugs might have been in control until she was through the bridge. But there you go, it's one of those things. Uh, oh, some shipmate did ask. Fred Osprey, hook on, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah, someone says, remember your bow tie to... Uh, the Cunards has good points. Somebody asked about the refits that taking place. Oh, yeah, Ellie Murley said it's a refit taking place. I don't know. I would assume so. I do wonder why they're going to Rotterdam. Maybe the Dutchies are better, better price for doing a refit. Maybe they just fancy mayonnaise on their fries. Looks like. Looks like Britannia's picking up a bit of his speed now. Pacific Coral, VTS, we both again, sir. Yep, 8.3 knots. And then she's behind the grain silos. These other cameras, unfortunately, are going to be suffering with wobbles. Yeah. Really windy day. Pacific Coral, VTS, receive, sir. And uh, there is no reported traffic from uh, south towards west as well um, apart from the AS Polina expecting next one will be the Commodore Goodwill uh, we haven't spoken to Commodore Goodwill yet you can see the wind blowing the spray off the bow that's crashing in there show, just goes to show you how windy is look at that windsock at the bottom of the screen there as well uh, copy that sir Shipmate Sea Views at Southampton is asking, does anyone know what's happened to Apex Tug? No, I don't. I don't know what's happened to Apex Tug. Is Apex Tug gone missing? Uh, the old tugs are keeping a close Looks like Mercurius is going back. Yeah, 
the tugs have finished with their duties. Oh no, that clock is working. Look at that. 1.30. Someone's fixed the clock. Fantastic. It did irritate me that clock was wrong. Well, the camera's behaved itself today. It took me a little while to get it working. It wouldn't turn on. It's, gonna, it's a bit grumpy. It doesn't like turning on. It doesn't like getting out of bed for work. But eventually, eventually, you turn it on and off enough times. Eventually, it keeps on. It keeps going. Got red kestrel coming up the right side of the screen. She'll probably follow Britannia all the way down. Red kestrel's not very fast. tricky over on the other cameras they do suffer with wobble here's some red on the red funnels coming in what was that then red falcon i think that was red eagle one in three chance oh shipmate dear man he says he thinks the canberra was the last ship to be refitted in southampton that's going back a while isn't it Uh, he says the Britannia wouldn't fit in the old dry dock, even if it was still operating. Oh, maybe that's an issue. I hadn't thought about that. Dry dock. Dry dock. Depending, depending on what you're refitting, I suppose. And if you are cleaning the bottom of the ship and or attaching propellers or doing any maintenance down there, you certainly do need to be in a dry dock. Yeah, it's very wobbly out there, very windy. The chap there in his powerboat, that looks like a... Not sure what that is. It's wobbling around there, it's a bit choppy out there. Oh, look at that, we've got the all sorts of traffic out there. It's quite busy out on Southampton Water this afternoon. Well, the shipmates, I think... I shall draw this to a conclusion because it's um, I'm struggling with the picture quality and the wobbling in the wind. The wind has not died down. But I just got, thought that would be a little change for a lunchtime broadcast. Don't normally do them in the evenings. Now the weather's better, we'll be broadcasting more often. I say the weather's better. It's lighter. I'm not sure the weather's better. Awful weather. Yep, we'll get some more broadcasts in. Uh, got some new cameras coming as well. Got one down at the end of Southampton Water. will give us an extended view. I'm hoping to have that installed in time for Queen Anne, but I don't think that's going to happen, which is a big shame. There you go, push yourself out. All right, many thanks to that, shipmates. If you haven't subscribed, please do think about subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. And Britannia, we'll see you shortly. Thank you, sir. And I shall... Red Eagle, we'll see you there. You may proceed. I think the stream will automatically send you over to Netney Cam, which you should be able to follow Britannia as she goes down southern towards her. Many thanks to all the subscribers, of course the blue spanners for answering your questions in the chat, and everyone else. Till next time, shipmates. I'd say in GTS, Red Eagle approaching knocking in man. PTS, Red Eagle, past the hive line in. Permission to continue at speed, please. Red Eagle, BTS, clear to proceed, ma'am. Thank you. VTS, the Ferrobee. Ferrobee, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, completed with the uh, Britannia, back alongside at 37. Uh, just about to shut down and we're crew are going to transfer over to the Bargate. That's for